Hi, I'm Denise. I'm the nutritionist and I am going to help you understand how to eat to control your diabetes and help you understand what foods raise your blood sugar and how you can eat and control your blood sugar and diabetes with your food. So it can be kind of scary and not understanding what foods raise your blood sugar and being afraid to eat or being afraid that you're not going to be able to eat the foods that you like. So let's, let's help to unravel some of that mystery for you. So first of all, uh, the word carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are foods that either have sugar or starch and both of those are going to raise your blood sugar. Now carbohydrates also include fiber. Fiber is the part of food that doesn't raise your blood sugar and we'll talk about that uh, later but right now I want you to understand the foods that raise your blood sugar and how you can eat them to help control your blood sugar. So first of all, let's look at the sugar board. We've got sugar, right? I think everybody understands blood sugar comes from sugar and that's gonna raise your blood sugar and that affects diabetes somehow. So you've got soda, you've got uh, white sugar, brown sugar, honey, all kinds of sugar. You've got food that has sugar in it that you may not even be aware of if you don't read labels, which a lot of people don't. So cereals, bread, yogurts, all kinds of foods have got sugar added to them. If it's in a package, then 80% chance it's got sugar added to it. Uh, then we've just got our natural foods. So our carbohydrates are gonna come from milk and milk products like yogurt, fruit, all fruits have sugar, natural sugar. And then you've got your starches. So the starches is a big group of foods. It's got starchy vegetables like potatoes and corn and beans. It's all the grains, wheat, rice, oats, quinoa, every kind of grain. We're not saying it's good or bad. It's just, this is just the way it is. Grains are starch. So anything you make from a grain, bread, tortillas, the flour that you make into anything, cake, cookies, crackers, um, are going to have starch and or sugar added to them. So all of these foods raise our blood sugar. Normally, we get, you know, we get energy from blood sugar. That's how we get a lot of our energy for our bodies. But if you have diabetes, your body is not controlling that blood sugar right, and so then those high blood sugars are going to harm our body, make us sick, start causing damage in our body. So we need to control these foods. Uh, you also want to understand that whole grains are going to raise your blood sugar. So the whole grain still has that white starchy part in the middle and that's what breaks down into sugar. It's just that the fiber on the outside is going to help control your blood sugar better. But you still have to control the amount of whole wheat, brown rice, oats, quinoa, those whole grains. You still have to control the amount because it's still gonna raise your blood sugar, but that fiber on the whole grains is gonna to help to control your blood sugar better. And then starchy vegetables, natural ones like beans and lentils, um, have a lot of fiber and protein, which is going to help to control blood sugar better than say something really white and starchy like rice or pasta or potatoes. So it's learning to control the amount and then the balance of your food. So this plate, the plate method, is a great way to start in learning how to balance your food and control your blood pressure. So if you see the plate is divided into sections. Half is vegetables, and a quarter is protein, a quarter is your starches. This is important because the vegetables are going to be low carb. In other words, low to very little sugar, no starch, these are going to raise your blood sugar. Very, some of them, not at all, some very little, maybe some a little bit more. Your protein, your meats, chicken, fish, seafood, eggs, these type of foods, protein is not gonna raise your blood sugar. Protein is gonna help control your blood sugar. It takes longer to digest, so it's gonna keep these carbohydrates in your stomach longer, 
so the sugar is going to come out more slowly and it won't go as high. So protein is very important. And then you've got the quarter of your plate of your starches. So if you can at least keep your starches to a quarter of your plate, that's going to make a big difference. Even if they're white, it's still going to make a big difference by cutting back on the amount. And then if you can gradually change to whole grains and higher fiber, other higher fiber foods like beans and lentils and maybe sweet potato instead of white potato, uh, that's going to help too. So you can make these gradual changes uh, as you go along, but at least start with the plate method and controlling your starch to no more than a quarter of your plate. And then in breakfast and snacks, at least partner your carbohydrates with proteins. So for instance, a piece of fruit with some nuts, or a piece of fruit with a string cheese, or even fruit with avocado. Uh, avocados don't, aren't high in protein, but they are high in fiber and healthy fat, and that also is gonna help control blood sugar. So whether it's a piece of bread with an egg, or tuna, or chicken, or um, oatmeal with nuts, um, or beans with eggs and a tortilla, balancing your food and controlling the portion size of your carbohydrates is the first step that you want to take and is going to really help you work on controlling your blood sugar.